눈앞을 보기 때문에 멀미를 느끼는 것이다. 몇백 킬로 미리 앞을 보라. 그곳은 잔잔한 물결처럼 평온하다. 나는 그렇기 때문에 오늘도 이 자리에 서서 그것을 지켜보고 그렇기 때문에 전혀 걱정하지 않는다. After I finished my military service, I was kind of out of nowhere. Like middle of nowhere, didn't know where to go, where to start again. I felt like I can't speak English very well anymore, you know, so I was really kind of afraid. In my family, it was all about numbers and money all the time. My father was an engineer and my brother is a stockbroker, so they never understood what I'm trying to do, actually. So when I first told them I wanted to do social work, they were like, they were disappointed in me, the fact that I'm trying to do something that they never did. I told them it's something that I would really want to do. So I told them, if you let me go, I try to prove you that you guys are wrong, that I can do really well. I was afraid of doing that, but then I eventually just decided to uh, chase my dream. I wanted to actually feel satisfied by helping other people, seeing them getting better, better shape, better position, better place by me helping, it would be much better for me than just making a lot of money being famous. I had so many ideas, but I didn't know how to organize my thoughts. So uh, I decided to come to USC. My eyes were starting to open, and I look around and thinking about what is really best for me. And the professors were doing an awesome job to helping me figure out what I really want to do deep in my heart. I don't want to be limited to myself to just stay in South Korea and go to uh, one of these South Korean companies and, and work there forever. You know, and University of Utah actually made me believe that I can do well in this university. In my family, I started to get a bit curious about what I'm studying. Basically, I learned how to respect individuals and how individual is really important to the society. They are now supporting me, calling me, asking me how's my school going, and they're more and more interested in what I'm doing. So every time I, I feel like I'm down and I'm sad and I feel like I'm lost, I read what my dad wrote to me, my notes. I believe myself I'm doing well, so there's nothing to be afraid of. Eventually, I never quit, I never give up until I get to the point where I want to get. So, um, that's who I am. <laughs>